Well, do you want to share the news? So yeah, the sips are on their way. <clears throat> and they'll be here in 15 minutes! Yep, they are not protected. Nice. Five years ago, we decided that we wanted to build our own home with our own hands. We created a plan, set the plan in motion, and two years later, we bought the perfect piece of property in the mountains of Idaho. <laughs> <laughs> we started our home build the summer of our second year living on our land. It took a while to decide on what type of house we wanted to build and how to build it in a way that would suit our needs both today and over the course of our life. We both had little to no construction experience, so we also wanted it to be a house that we felt we could actually build, so nothing too over the top fancy, although little did we realize how much we'd be outside of our comfort zone on a daily basis, even after settling on what we thought was a simple design. We worked through the summer on the foundation, a 10 foot tall daylight basement slash garage, and put our timber frame that we milled ourselves up during the first big snowfall of the season. It was a long winter with our frame exposed, but we were looking forward to our SIPs, which stands for structural insulated panels, you know, the walls, arriving in spring so that we could begin the dry-in phase of the house. While we did daily videos of our wall installation, we wanted to commemorate the experience by showing it all in one video. Done. Bazinga. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, yeah. That's so beautiful. The rockier is the way, Jesse. All right, everyone, let's go have a snack, everyone but Justin. <laughs>
So Brian graciously flocked all of our panels. He was the flocker. And since he did that horrible task, we have given him discretion on how to clean the foam from the top of the panels. And he has opted not to use the backpack blower. He prefers to test out the drone to see if it has SIP panel cleaning capacity. So let's see how it goes. Brian thinks he's flown a drone once that he can remember, I think. Yes, once. It's for three and a half seconds. <laughs> I'm totally qualified. Oh yeah, what could go wrong? So the best thing you can do if you ever get scared or you don't know what to do, go up. Go up? Like, okay. So if you're like, ah, ah just go okay. up. It's pretty good, but he missed some. That's pretty good. Hold okay. on, he's gonna do it again. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> Last one, Brian, make it count. Don't screw this up. Good. I can't believe I'm volunteering for this. Go. I have foam crusted eyelashes. My turn. Woo! Hey, wipe that grin off your face. Did we just have fun? Yeah. Oh. Cut, cut, cut. We can't let people know we have fun. I'm ready. <laughs> let's let's give Brian what he really deserves. <laughs> Full throttle. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. It just all went. We're under no delusion. We have a long way to go to get the house dried in, livable, and looking like a cozy home. But we try to take joy in all accomplishments along the way, both big and small. And today it's finishing a six week long installation of our exterior walls. Building a house is a marathon, not a sprint. And we try to not lose our sense of humor along the way or the reason why we embarked on this home build in the first place. 